In this Power BI showcase, we cover options for analyzing financial data of listed companies. The dataset includes income statement and cash flow details, but can be extended to any data point that is published to the SEC. With using the Acaris Financial Reporting Visual, users have the option to put together financial statements in seconds that include advanced visualization options like switching between variance visualizations. So for example, I can switch here to a relative display of the variance or a waterfall display. And I can also exactly define what items I want to use in this calculation. So if I click here on edit, I can specify I want to calculate the variance between Adobe in the current year and Agilis and put in here the column number for Agilis, which is four and then immediately see what's the difference between these two companies and again for all the visualization options. Also possible are custom tooltips in Power BI where I can see further details for a particular, particular number and all the formatting options for financial reports, for example, indentation, subtotal calculations, underlines and other formatting options. So for example, I can now also add new calculations exactly as I need them. So if I go here now to edit, I can see now the existing calculations. So for example, we have already a gross margin calculation here that um, adds revenue and cost of goods sold. It adds because we have the cost of goods sold here as a negative number, so that calculates the correct gross margin. And in a similar vein, I can now add any other calculation that I might need. For example, I want to add a calculation here after and I want to call this the gross margin percentage. And the gross margin percentage is the gross margin divided by the revenue. So now I can see the calculation here. I just need to make sure I'm applying the right format, which I can also do here. I can even edit the format exactly to the option that um, uh, I want to use here and see that that is automatically correctly uh, applied. Here I can see now my new calculation with the right format applied. And this also calculates very fast. With X calculation, this can take uh, some time, respectively, can be very hard to set up. Here, a normal business user without any knowledge can set up these calculations and they calculate in seconds. We also have the option to link back to the underlying report. So for example, if I for Adobe want to see what's the underlying uh, report here that was published with the ACC, I can see this here and then also uh, see if the numbers match the numbers here. So here we can see the numbers um, match uh, what I have in my report as well. On the next report, we're showing cash flow details. It's the same option so the users can switch between the different um, variance visualization options. They can, of course, choose the company that they want to see or multiple companies together. And we also have um, more complex uh, valuation metrics here. Uh, for example, the discounted cash flow valuation. For example, if I want to see the valuation of Microsoft, I can click on that and see according to the parameters that we've used here for the DCF valuation, Microsoft has at the moment a value of $1.459 trillion uh, that constitutes a terminal value. And then the discounted cash flow where we also apply gross factors, so an, an average gross rate of 13.98 that Microsoft had in the previous three years is applied in this future cash flow calculations. And we see immediately the result here. On the next page, we can see the comparison again, where uh, I have the option to uh, compare different companies together. We also have the option here for uh, AI insights, where the Power BI AI automatically identifies in interesting aspects in the data. And finally, the user also has the option to edit any parameters of the report. So for example, how signs are treated. So in, in this case, from my provider, I only got the data uh, with a plus. And here I can specify I want to treat uh, expenses and revenues with a particular factor. I can specify how I want to order them and a lot of other details that I can directly maintain here and that are then automatically applied on my financial report. The important thing to keep in mind here is that these changes are not just affecting a visual, 
that are stored in the central data model. This means they apply anywhere where this data is used, be it another Power BI Visual, be it Excel, or any other client. To try out uh, the Actaris Financial Reporting Visual and uh, the comprehensive planning uh, features, please start a trial at actaris.com.